Hi, my name is Ruby, and I've been attending this Foundation Church for three years, and this is my testimony. I, it was a Thursday night, and me and my dad were horsing around before bed, and he landed on my wrist. It was in a really weird position, so it felt really, it felt really bad when he landed on it. it felt like it was broken. It got really swollen, and it did not feel good. I couldn't get any sleep, and my mom and dad kept praying, but still, I still couldn't move it, and I barely got any sleep. I was sitting at the kitchen table when the incident happened, and um, you kind of know that scream when your child is um, really hurt, uh, especially Ruby because she um, is a cowgirl, so uh, her pain tolerance is pretty high. Um, and um, the swelling was instant, and she could not move. Um, but we believed, and we were praying, and praying, and nothing was happening. Um, but we were able to get her in a semi-comfortable position. She couldn't sleep, she couldn't fall asleep, she couldn't move, and the swelling was a lot. And so we just kept praying. Um, and the morning came, and it was still not good. So we prayed again before Drew left for work. No results. So he left for work. She moved to the couch, um, was just kind of holding her arm in like a guarding position. Um, Drew called and he just had a different fire about him. He prayed. And as he was actually praying, Ruby yelled from the couch. What did you yell? I yelled, uh, I can move. She yelled, I can move. And when I ran in there, she was able to bend it in all the directions that she couldn't. I was able to see the like bone that um, I couldn't see before because of the swelling. So we grabbed a hold of that and we kept praying and she wanted to go to her friend's birthday party. And then we went to, I decided I could go to my friend's birthday party. And then someone kicked me in the arm and then my friends prayed again and it felt a lot better. So she went to the party at a pool and she chose to walk it out. They continued to pray over her um, to command the soreness to go and any inflammation. And there were moments where it hurt, uh, but she just continued to believe and every time it hurt, she asked someone to pray for her. That night, I was able to draw and I actually, my mom helped me look up some things that I wanted to draw and I drew with my hand that I usually drew with and it the one that was hurt. So I was able to draw that night and I felt like I could do that and I helped my mom with her chores. We, we noticed that Ru when Ruby was determined to walk in her healing, she was able to do it. She was able to push through and just believe what God says about her arm. But when there were moments where she wanted to feel sorry for herself, the pain would start to come back. And so um, it was just, in my mind, it wasn't a instant healing. It was a progressive healing. And it was something that she needed to just walk in. And we did not speak any words opposite of what God said. We just continued to believe and say what God says. And then we were able to watch the healing just come through. It was one week ago, and now I'm able to move my restaurant. Show me. <laughs> <laughs>